Well, our neighbors to the north in Victoria, BC, they're finally going to start treating sewage before it's discharged into waterways that we share. Why should we care? Well, here's Victoria, here's Seattle. You can see a lot of waterway that we share there. So Washington State urged Canadians to clean up their act. Some have called for travel boycotts in the past. King 5's Ted Land visited a state-of-the-art project many people think is long overdue. It's really, really nice. Visitors to Victoria, British Columbia generally like what they see. You feel very safe here. It's yes. very clean. It's beautiful. The colors are eye popping. <laughs> what most of them don't realize, however, is what's happening just a few miles from the harbor. This is the last major coastal community in North America to discharge raw sewage off of its shoreline. When hundreds of thousands of Canadians flush their toilets, the regional government screens out anything larger than six millimeters to remove paper, plastics, and other debris. The rest, human waste, is pumped into waters that touch Washington. But that's about to change. When it's finished next year, this project at the entrance to Victoria Harbor will be a state-of-the-art wastewater treatment plant, which will filter out particles you can only see with a microscope. An extra level of treatment will scrub out microplastics, many pharmaceuticals, and other contaminants before wastewater is discharged offshore. We are uh, a gem of a city in the Pacific Northwest, just like Seattle is. Colin Plant is chair of the CRD, the regional government body in charge of the project. We want to do what's right for the environment. This wastewater treatment plant is an example of doing the right thing. But for a long time, many people felt Victoria wasn't doing the right thing that they just didn't care about the environment or didn't want to spend the money on upgrades. Washington lawmakers have been complaining about it for decades. They have done nothing and the raw sewage continues to flow into our shared waterways. Some even called for travel boycotts. What took so long? Plant says they couldn't find a project site that everyone could agree on and there wasn't wide enough support among elected leaders. They kept putting it off until the Canadian government approved stricter wastewater standards and set a 2020 deadline for cities to comply. So did Washington's griping have any impact? I have no doubt that the expressions of concern that came from the leadership in Washington state and from the residents of Washington state played a factor in the decisions of the provincial and federal governments. The new plant should start running next summer and should be fully operational by the end of 2020. Project managers say it will not only meet Canadian standards, it'll exceed them. I think there would probably be some value once the treatment plant is up and operational on coming down to your neck of the woods and just telling you what we're doing and then invite you to come back. Enjoy uh, tea at the Empress perhaps and see what we're doing with our wastewater. Tea and a cleaner sea. It's beautiful. Sounds like a new slogan. In Victoria, Ted Land, King 5 News. So Ted says the new treatment plant will cost just under 600 million U.S. dollars. The Canadians are funding the whole project and many people there will see their utility bills increase to help pay for it.